Hello. Today we are going to learn a tune called Are Nam Baran, which is a lovely traditional jig in 6 8, and we're in the key of F. I will play it round for you and then we'll break. <laughs> tune through twice there's an a part and a b part which both repeats so let's just get straight in um, remember you can pause this and remind yourself of the f major scale if you think that would be helpful and um, you can also change the speed of the video and rewind it and i'm sure you know how to use youtube by now but let's just get straight in so i am going to play the first phrase uh, i think we'll do about two bars at a time um, and we'll play it through and i give you a quick chat about grace notes but overall I'd say they're quite a personal thing. So the first two bars we've got, we're starting with our C natural. I'll put it again a bit slightly slower. Okay and again. more. Okay, so the emphasis for most of those is just your usual one and four. You've got one. Okay, so just your kind of standard jig rhythm there. You can give the first bit a little bit more of an emphasis by adding a third finger cut if you want to try some grease notes. Try that again with the grace note if you want to. Okay, and the next phrase we've got. And again. how I'm keeping that third finger down for the end bit you're going up to the F natural but you're coming back down to the third so keep it down and that makes it a lot easier to play it you got okay so the emphasis on that bit your first bar is just your standard jig rhythm you go and then push for that F okay there's a few things you can do here. If you've got four G's in a row, um, you can join some of them together, give it a bit of syncopation. Instead, so you got. Now I quite like to do that and add a bit of a G, catch the G string, so you got. Or you can still catch the G string um, and do all your. So you're emphasising the four of the bar still. Okay, so a few things to have a play with there. 
The next section is the same as the first bit. So you are... Let's try that again with the grace note if you feel able. section is again almost exactly the same we've just got a slightly different ending for the last two notes so you've got your four G's again instead of going to the high we're going down to the C natural so let's play that a bit together Grace note, you could add third finger flick as you go from C natural down to the A. You go. So you're ending up with a slur. Okay. Of course, you can also add in any of the same sort of variations with all of those G's as in the first bit. So let's go back and try the first and the second parts together. I'll just play it round. I'll play it once and pause and then play the same thing again so you can join it and so we'll play it at the speed we've been doing. Try it with the second time ending, which has got your C natural. C. And again. That's it. Okay. Now let's try those two bits together. We'll play the whole of the A part. And... Let's try the second half then. So we're going up the second half, starting with that C natural again, but I'll do the same thing. I'll play the first two bars for you. So you're... I'll do it again, but slightly slower. you can add in here grace note wise obviously in the middle of each of those bars you've got the same note um, so you can join them together and just use a cut which is what I like to do helps if you hit the string so instead of playing you're going for okay or you could experiment with just tying them and not having a cut. Them. In which 
gives it a kind of lilty feel. Um, I'm going to go with the cut because that's my favourite variation, but obviously feel free to pause and have a play, see what you prefer. So you <laughs> One thing to be careful of if you're going to go for the cut is not to do it right at the beginning of the note. So you're not going for... You've got to have a little bit of a note because you want it bang in the middle. So... Okay. Uh, the next bar is exactly the same. So it's this thing. You go in that bar. And to end it, this line, you got... So let me play those two bars together for you. And again, I'll play it separate for now, but feel free to do the cut if you prefer. And again. And once more. For the next bit, we are kind of going down in intervals. So you're starting on a high A. I'll do that again a wee bit slower. quite useful where you can keep your fingers down it gives you a good reference as you're going down um, and I don't add in any grace notes um, into this part the only thing I would say is I think it's quite nice to really make sure that you're emphasizing the one and four again when you play it because obviously we've had the cuts maybe um, adding syncopation in um, and kind of straying from that jig one and four so really give your first note of each of those triplets a push as you go down to it. To just kind of make sure you're back into the jig before you're ending the um, ending the B part. Okay, so and then to end the whole of the B part, funnily enough, uh, we've got two bars left. I'll just play them for you. You've got. of grace notes um, you've got three G's again you can pick one out by catching the G string and also as you're coming down from C natural to the A I would add the same grace note in there so let's try that First part of the B part again, um, just to remind you, we're sorry. Okay, I'm going to play it with the cut variations, but feel free to play it without if you prefer. So. section is where we've got the intervals starting on the high A
Okay, so let's try the whole B part twice through. And... tune let's try the a part and the b part together at about that speed to be honest i don't play it that much faster than this i think it works really well as a nice kind of lilting slow jig rather than um a strip the willow jig <laughs> um so just to remind you of the first part the first section we've got is where you've got that second finger jump where you've got to try and get your fingers across from the c natural <laughs> Okay, so that's how we're starting it. So let's try it a wee bit slower than that. With that speed. Alright, and we'll play the whole tune with repeats uh, just once through for now. If you feel okay with that, we'll try it slightly faster. Um, if you're still not quite comfortable with that pace yet, then feel free to rewind it and have another go. So let's try it again. Uh, about that speed, okay? And... tune um, feel free to rewind and keep having a go um, but I think that is a good speed so we'll leave it there just now um, I hope you enjoyed learning it it's one of my favorite jigs to play you can hear a lovely version of it as I said on the uh, Blazing Fiddles album Magnificent Seven um, so have a listen to that and see if you can play along maybe um, but thank you very much for watching. As always, any questions, comments, uh, feel free to pop them below or get in touch. And even better, share a recording of yourself playing it. We love to see how you've got on with the videos.